everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Vulkan as a graphics rendering API is getting more and more popular these days. Uh, basically, it is a low-level rendering framework architecture driver kind of altogether uh, as a successor of sorts to OpenGL. The entire idea behind Vulkan is basically to get closer to the hardware. So you've got to do a lot more work, but you also have a lot more control. And for the most part, the people using Vulkan are people writing game engines, and they do it once, not a big deal, but it is a lot of code when you're working with Vulkan. So for example, here is an example I just pulled off the internet. I don't know if this is a good example or not. I just spent a couple of seconds searching, but this is kind of hello world. This is the code required to render a triangle on screen. And this is actually one file within about six. Now this is the heart of it, but to give you an idea, this is what you need to do to uh, render a triangle using Vulkan. So yeah, it, it goes on for a while, uh, 1700 lines in fact. And if we go back to the archive, like I said, there is a uh, there's a lot more to this, including shaders and uh, some other stuff there. So, yeah, it's not an easy API by any definition of the word to use. Now, AMD has actually come along with a library. They just released open source called VEZ, or Vulkan Easy, I think is what that's meant to um, represent. And this is exactly that. Basically, VEZ is an open source cross-platform Windows and Linux. Sorry, Mac, but you guys kind of suck when it comes to this stuff lately. Uh, wrapper intended to alleviate the inherent complexities and application responsibility of using the Vulkan API. VEZ attempts to bridge the gap between traditional graphics APIs and Vulkan by providing similar semantics to Vulkan while lowering the barrier to entry and providing an easier to use API. Put in simplest terms, it's an easier Vulkan. So they do a lot of the work for you, uh, and they kind of just strip down. So you see all this stuff over here? Well, they got rid of a lot of it. They take care of this part for you. They take care of most of the pipeline for you. They take care of the uh, validation, SPRV compiler, etc. So basically, they're just doing some of the heavy lifting for you. Now, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details on this, but do know this is AMD that's behind this. Now, if you don't know already, AMD basically invented Vulkan. Um, they created a low-level architecture, so it's kind of the rage. Everyone was doing it. Microsoft created uh, DirectX 12, uh, Apple created Metal, and uh, um, AMD created something called Mantle. Yes, not Metal, Mantle. And basically, they gave Mantle to the Cronus Group, which is the people behind OpenGL uh, and OpenAL, OpenCL, and various other frameworks, and basically said, here, have at it. Uh, so they provided the basic kernel that went on to become uh, Vulkan. So even though AMD wrote this, it isn't specific to AMD devices. You can use this library um, even if you aren't um, using uh, an AMD card. So uh, there's a lot more detail here on the GitHub page. Of course, I'm going to toss it down below. You can get started pretty easily with this. Um, again, Vulkan is becoming more and more important. You may have just saw the other day the uh, release from um, Steam that you can now do Steam play of Windows games on uh, Linux machines, and basically, if your game was written using Vulkan, uh, you get almost pure speed. So there, there's no real speed loss. Whereas if you use Direct3D 11 or 12, and it has to be um, transpiled over to Vulkan, you're obviously going to have some degradation in performance. So that new Steam announcement basically made Vulkan even just that much more valuable or important to work with. Now, if you are interested in checking this out, there's a couple things to be aware of. First off, the documentation is quite good. Now, while I say that this is easier, it's still not exceedingly easy. There's a lot. It's very verbose in the code. So I'm going to go here to samples and um, let's go to a simple, oh, I can't do a triangle to triangle comparison. Let's do a triangle to quad comparison. And here you go. This is the code required to make a quad displayed on screen. And we'll just go with ancient line of code counts as the way of determining things. So it takes about 350 lines of code to draw a quad now which is actually a huge improvement over the way things were. So remember back here, uh, when we were looking at creating a triangle, there was 1,700 lines of code to accomplish that task. So you are looking at uh, a reduction of, I don't know, to 20%. Uh, still, you know, that's a lot of code to draw a triangle, but that's the nature of the beast. That's the, sound, that's the downside of working at this lower level. But definitely, if you are looking at getting into Vulkan, and you want a more accessible kind of API to work with, uh, VEZ is definitely worth checking out. I pulled it down, got it compiling, no problems at all. So it's pretty straightforward that way. You have to already have the Vulkan uh, library set up for part of when you do your CMIT configuration. But other than that, there's nothing really to the steps. And you can see this code is actually also very readable. 
Um, whereas this code gets a little bit more uh, less readable. <laughs> Uh, so it is, again, it's kind of daunting, but it is definitely an improvement. So if you are looking at checking out uh, the Vulkan um, API and, and you found it just daunting to work with, this VEC library may be the perfect thing for you. So let me know what you think. Are you interested in checking out Vulkan? Did you try to check it out and went, okay, 2,000 lines of code to draw a triangle, I'm out. Because if you did, well, maybe this is the perfect framework for you to give it another shot. Uh, so that's VEZ, uh, a new open source library from AMD for making Vulkan that much easier to use. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. That's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.